and most importantly, my mum. Hello all my exciting Keiths, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names, where each week we look into the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we are looking into the first name of Veronica. And yes, as promised to you all, I am wearing a silly suit. This is because we hit $700 a month on Patreon before the end of 2020, so here it is. I've actually owned this suit for quite a long time now, which is kind of weird I've already owned a silly suit. Don't ask why, but I'm amazed it still fits. So despite this, despite this, I, I, I like wearing this. Thank you all so much for all that amazing patron support that got us here, that got me into wearing a weird suit somehow. I didn't think this is how my 2021 would start, but here we go. And I just want to give a huge thank to everyone who became a patron over the Christmas break. That includes Abby Soma, Everett Harris, Brad Schultz, Ashley Ferris, John Jackson Marsh, Kevin Hollywood, John Zengrill, Depsy Fall, and most importantly, my mum. Thank you all so much for the support. Apologies if I missed anyone out and apologies if I mispronounced any of those names. You make name explain possible. Anyway, on with today's name of Veronica. And as for nicknames for this name, I've kind of seen two. Vero, just V-E-R-O is one I've seen popular um, in various places. And also I really like Ronnie as a name of Veronica. It's taking that latter half of the name, the uh, Ronica part, and just diminuating it into Ronnie. That's really cool, I think. I've read a few ideas as to where this name comes from and some of those ideas even put that these two theories link together somehow, but I'm not too sure. We're probably just going to examine each of these as their own separate theory behind the name. One idea is that comes from the Greek name of Bella Nike or Bella Nike or Bella Nikki, however it's supposed to be pronounced. This name is believed to mean bringing victory or bringer of victory. And when the Romans got their hand on this name, they Latinized it into the name we know today, Veronica. And just a minor spoiler alert for other names being with V, they all kind of mean victory. At least there's always theories that names being with V mean victory, it seems more or less. However, there is a theory that the name doesn't relate to victory. This idea leads people to believe that the name comes from the Christian Latin phrase, vera icon. And this phrase in English means true image. So what exactly does this mean? How is Veronica a true image? Well, it all relates to the Christian saint of Saint Veronica. The story goes is that it was this Veronica who offered a cloth, most likely her own veil, to Jesus as he marched towards being crucified for him to wipe all the sweat and just blood, all that gross stuff off his face just before he finally got crucified. Jesus accepted this cloth to wipe his face down with and upon giving it back to her, his face had been imprinted onto it. This was of course a huge deal and while this story isn't actually in any of the canonical gospels, it's become a very popular part of Christianity and supposedly that cloth, the actual veil of Saint Veronica, is believed to be somewhere in the Vatican as one of the most treasured relics. Kind of like the Shroud of Turin, I suppose. What I find odd about this etymology, however, is it's kind of a bit paradoxical. Like, did she already have the name Veronica? And then it already had that meaning and just coincidentally, she revealed a true image of Jesus? Or did she not have this name? She got given this name after this act? Or did she already have the name Veronica, but it didn't mean true image? And after this, it got the meaning true image. I just don't know. It's just all a bit weird. But a lot of things are weird in life and that's okay with me. If it was just a coincidence that it already meant true image and she unveiled a true image, then yeah, that is just that, a coincidence. There's actually a name for names like that. They're called aptronyms, like how Usain Bolt is a really fast runner, or the guy who's the president of Nintendo in America is called Doug Bowser, and Mario's villain is called Bowser. They're called aptronyms, and we actually have a whole video about them somewhere on the channel. I'm sure you can find it. I think it's called Oddly Fitting Names Explained, something like that. And Veronica is a name that's fared fairly well over time. In the USA, is the 359th most popular girl's name. I believe it peaked across the 80s, was the 70th or 60th or so most popular name of girls in that time period. Here in the UK, however, it's the 631st most popular girl's name, so definitely more popular stateside than over here, that's for sure. Famous Veronicas include the likes of Veronica Lake, a famous Hollywood film actress. Veronica Mars, a famous fictional TV detective, I believe. I've never watched the show myself, but she's played by Kristen Bell, I believe, from The Good Place and Anna from Frozen. Cool stuff. And Veronica Roth, the author of the Divergent trilogy? Quadrilogy? I don't know, just during that era where teen fiction was just all the rage. She was just part of that. But good books, I believe. I think I read the first one. It might be an okay. And as for wrestlers, I found a Veronica Lane, who I believe worked primarily with NXT in 2013, 2014-ish, but there's a wrestler named Veronica for you. But anyway, that's just about everything you guys need to know about the name Veronica, but what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Veronica? Are you called Veronica yourself? 
let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I just want to share some of the thoughts you guys had on last year's name, I'll say this time, Rudolph, the Christmas special name. Robin Stone says, there are two brothers called Adolf and Rudolph who probably should be famous but aren't. Adolf Addy and Rudolf Dassler, the founders of Adidas and Puma respectively. That is a really cool fact. I knew about um, Addy Dassler making Adidas, but I didn't know his brother was called Rudolf and I definitely didn't know his brother created Puma. Thank you so much for sharing that with us all. I probably should have mentioned that in the video. Bokbin Games said, yeah, this is the most questionable title I've seen from you yet. Of course, one very angry racist Adolf from Austria did very bad things 80 years ago, but to call the name Adolf itself evil is iffy. Yeah, I agree with you. There probably were other names, other adjectives I could have used. I did debate sort of saying the historically inappropriate, but evil kind of just fit the bill and it was a bit outlandish. I do admit that a lot of you guys seemed uh, quite annoyed that I used the name evil. And too right, we've had the debate about with the name Adolf is evil unto itself. We did a video about should names be banned? Is that right? And Adolf was a central point of that video. But hey, got to get them clicks. Joking aside, I don't just got to get them clicks. Apologies if anyone was upset by that, but happy to have the debate with any of you guys down in the comments below. Well, I probably won't debate myself because I'm rubbish at that, but happy for you guys to talk about it. And Graham Live said, strangely, Rolf has gone out of fashion in recent years. Can't imagine why. No, I can't either. And if you know why, um, I don't know how popular Rolf Harris is outside the UK or Australia, if he's even known in Australia, but if you know Rolf Harris, you know why the name Rolf isn't popular anymore. Next week, we'll be looking into a name starting with the letter W. And what name that will be exactly will be chosen on a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote for. So if you enjoy the channel, want to help support it, and have a say in what name could explain, then please do consider donating on Patreon. It helps out in a massive way, guys. It makes these videos possible. It makes just name explain in the way it is possible. This wouldn't be a thing without people like yourself supporting on Patreon. And most importantly, it means you get to dress me up in ridiculous clothing. If you do wish to support me on Patreon, there'll be a link down below. Go check it out, please. Thank you. Anyway, that's more than enough from myself. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye and take care. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patreon is vital to Name Explain and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad-free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Hello all and thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. You can find me on Twitter, I'm at NameExplainYT. On Instagram, I'm also NameExplainYT. And on Facebook, just search Name Explain. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.